The American Heart Association is out with a new warning on the dangers of too much sitting. It says that even bursts of exercise may not undo the risk from a sedentary lifestyle. The review, the review found adults sit an average of six to eight hours a day. People are more than 60 move around even less. Uh, Dr. Tara Narula is here. Tara, good morning. Good morning, Charlie. So you, we should stand up all Everybody the time. Everybody get up. Yes, get up. Exactly. That's, that's right. <laughs> Hello, Tara. Hi. Um, I'm the only one sitting right now. What's wrong with this picture? So yes, the message for a lot of people has been, as long as I get in my exercise, it's okay if I'm sitting 15 hours of the rest of the day. Yeah. And some of the research has shown that, in fact, if you do exercise, you can attenuate some of the problems that come with sitting. But this new statement really says that regardless of how much exercise you do, you cannot undo the harms of sitting and that we need to think about these as two distinct entities sitting and exercise that work through two different mechanisms and have different health consequences. What does yeah. attenuate mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what does it mean doctor? It <laughs> means it can undo or limit oh, a little bit. Yeah, it. Limit. <laughs> yes that is what it means <laughs> but uh, this surprises me because right. I'm one of those people I exercise but I have this handy dandy under armor band that starts vibrating if I've been sitting too long right mm. and it says 60 minutes and I'm thinking what is what is so bad if you're already doing the exercise? What does it do for your body if you don't get up and walk around? So in 1953, one of the first studies came out that showed that London bus drivers had an increased risk of coronary heart disease than conductors. And since then, there's been an accumulating body of evidence that suggests that by sitting, you raise your risk of insulin resistance, diabetes, mm. cardiovascular disease, and overall all-cause mortality. Evolutionarily, we were not designed to be sitting, and unfortunately, our modern technology has gotten us to the point where we can pretty much go throughout our day without getting up. And yes, so, you know, true. you really need to revise how you think about uh, your day and how you change your normal pattern of sitting. Do you have a ratio of you should sit X amount, then move X amount? So the recommendations for exercise remain, and that's 150 minutes a week of moderate intensity aerobic exercise or 75 minutes a week of vigorous exercise. Unfortunately, we don't have the research there to give us public health recommendations recommendations about sitting. So the statement basically says in very simple terms, sit less, move more. <laughs> so do we all need standing desks? Is that the uh -huh. answer? Standing desks is one answer. Yeah. Apps on Somebody your phone. at the table has a standing desk. Oh, Guess who? Who's that? Charlie, wow. of course. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. But Healthy. You, but you know what you just said? It is 75 minutes of a vigorous, week. That's vigorous. 10 minutes a day. Yeah. Only 10 minutes a day. Right. It's not a lot. I mean, I you know, I tell my patients 30 minutes, five days a week. There's your 150 right. minutes. Um, but even just changing the, uh, from sitting to standing for, you know, an hour right. a day, you're increasing your metabolism. You know, the sitting, the problem with this is that you lower your metabolism, yeah. you increase fat storage, you change how your body processes yeah. blood sugar, you change the health of the blood vessels. So when you see somebody smoking, you look at them and you say, I know that they're doing something to you damage their health. Yeah. Look at all of us. It's such a silent, sneaky thing. You never think that it's harming us slowly. You know, so many of those bands say you should go 10,000 steps. We did that mm -hmm. test. 10, I think Charlie had 13 by noon, <laughs> and I was like 1,200. Do you, do you give any validity to 10,000 steps? Do you think that that's a real number that everybody should try to hit? I do. I think that do. that's a great number. 10,000? I mm -hmm. think that 10,000 is a good start, you know, and I think that anything you can do, like standing up while you're talking on the phone, having your meetings, mm. walking while you're mm -hmm. having your meetings, parking your car farther away so you have to walk, getting apps like you talked about on your phone that buzz. And do you, you practice stand up. what you preach? Good I question. try. Mm -hmm. I do. Good question. <laughs> it's great to have you. Thank but you. But she attenuates. I do. <laughs> okay, got, got that. Thank you, Dr. Tara. Always good to see you.